Hi, I'm Bethany Drysdale, WCTV. Welcome to Washoe Life, our recap of the top news from the Board of County Commissioners for the month of September, as well as highlights of what you need to know about life in Washoe County. In September, the Board of County Commissioners discussed the issue of cannabis consumption lounges. There are two types of lounges that are being considered, retail, which are physically attached to dispensaries, and standalone. Think of these like cocktail lounges, but for cannabis. Washoe County does not currently have codes related to these lounges, so they're prohibited. County commissioners considered four questions to determine next steps. Number one, does the board even want to allow these lounges in unincorporated Washoe County? If yes, will they be limited to retail or will they also allow the standalone lounges? And then, does the board want to allow both indoor and outdoor lounges? And finally, should there be a limit on the number or the location of lounges? These are certainly big questions, and the board ultimately decided in a split vote to proceed with county codes. Staff will bring these codes before the board within 45 days, and the county will have to hold two public hearings on them. The general election is fast approaching, and in September, the board approved the list of locations for early voting and election day. Washoe County will have approximately two dozen early voting locations and more than 60 election day polling places. Remember that in Washoe County, you can vote at any vote center that is most convenient to you. You can also mail in your ballot or drop it off at a vote center. Finally, it has become apparent that there's some confusion in the community about what Washoe County is doing to help those experiencing homelessness. The board heard two presentations from staff about both the Nevada Cares Campus, which is the region's homeless shelter and services, and Our Place, a 15-acre campus with 15 buildings to house women and families and provide services like daycare, risk reduction, mental health care, addiction recovery, and more. Washoe County opened Our Place in 2020 and in 2021 piloted the Safe Camp and took over management of the Nevada Cares Campus. Our Place Women's Homes have 158 guests, while 38 individuals live in the family homes, and the Nevada Cares Campus houses more than 600 people and the 50 participants at the adjacent Safe Camp. Safety and security are top priorities at the CARES campus, and in July, Washoe County opened a check-in center with a metal detector and a bag scanner, and installed an intake and diversion team to properly document participants and address their needs. The CARES campus is currently undergoing extensive construction as the long-term plan for the campus comes to fruition, including new showers and bathrooms, training and case management facilities, a cafeteria, and supportive housing. We know there's still a lot of work to be done, including working with our city partners on affordable housing, but there's some encouraging success stories so far. Since opening, the CARES campus has provided service to more than 3,300 individuals and assisted in placing 241 individuals into permanent housing. Our place has moved 189 people into other housing. This is good news. Thank you for watching Washoe Life. Be sure to follow us on social media for news and updates and check out our podcast, also called Washoe Life. You can download it anywhere you download your favorite podcasts. I'm Bethany Drysdale, WCTV, and that's what's happening in Washoe County.